Celia has fallen when getting out of bed in the morning. She is lying on the floor, on her back. The staff member examines Celia to check if she's injured. They bring her a pillow and help her to calm down. They have decided to use a mobile floor lift to get Celia up from the floor and back into bed. Two staff assist in the transfer. They kneel, one on each side of the patient, and they put something soft on the floor to protect their knees. They explain to Celia how the transfer is going to be done. We'd like you to turn onto your right side. Bend your left knee, please, and lift your left leg across your right leg, please, and turn your head towards me. The staff position the sling under Celia. The lower end of the sling should be in line with the level of Celia's coccyx, and the middle line of the sling follows the spine. The staff pull the sling through underneath Celia and straighten it. The leg straps of the sling are crossed. The staff bring the hoist in from behind Celia's head. The legs of the hoist are spread and carefully positioned so that Celia's head can be placed on a pillow onto the inside corner of the lift's legs. The staff position the spreader bar of the hoist so that it is across Celia's body. They lower it so that the straps of the sling can be hooked onto the lift. The upper straps first and then the lower. The staff control the lifting and one of them supports Celia's head. As soon as Celia's weight is supported by the lift, the staff stop the lift and check the safety of the procedure. Are the straps properly hooked on? Are the leg straps correctly positioned? And most importantly, is the sling positioned sufficiently low down to reach the coccyx level so that Celia is in a good transfer position? The staff turn Celia so that she faces the lift, taking care not to hit her feet. The hoist is moved over the bed and Celia is lowered so that her back rests onto the raised head end of the bed. The staff detach the sling from the hoist. And move the hoist out of the way. The sling is removed.